In this step-by-step, -step, I will show you how you can use Brevo for email marketing. And for those who aren't familiar, Brevo is a advanced email marketing tool that lets you create stunning newsletters, set up automation workflows, and integrate your signup forms into your website, all in a few easy steps. Whether you're an expert or just getting started, Brevo can help you streamline your process. So the first step is signing up. And to get started, I've included my personal link to Bravo in the description box down below, which allows you to sign up for a free account and later on choose a paid plan in case you need it. This is my personal link so that you always get the best deal. Once you're on the site, just look for the join for free button and click it. You'll be asked to enter your email and create a password for your new account. After that, click create an account. Brevo will then send you an email to verify your account. Open that email and follow the instructions to confirm your account. Once your account is confirmed, it's time to set up your profile. Enter your first and last name, your company name, and your website. Then click on next. Now you'll be asked to enter your address and the country that you live in. Once you've entered this information, click on next. After filling out this information, answer a few more questions about your company and the number of contacts that you have. Next, you need to validate your phone number. Enter your phone number and you will receive a verification code, and then you will enter this code into the field provided to verify your account. Once you've successfully verified your phone number, it's time to move on to the next crucial step selecting your plan. Brevo offers a variety of plans to cater to different user needs and business sizes. It's important to choose a plan that suits your specific requirements, and here I will walk you through how to do just that. First off, we have the free plan. So let's start with the free plan. This is a excellent choice if you're just dipping your toes into the world of email marketing, or if you're running a small operation. It allows you to send up to 300 emails per day, which might not seem too much at first glance. But trust me, for a small business or a beginner, it's quite enough to get started. What's more is that the free plan doesn't put any restrictions on the number of contacts you can have. So technically, you could have thousands of contacts and still use the free plan. It's a huge plus point if you're in the early stages of building your contact list. Now, if you're looking to wrap things up, you might want to consider the starter plan. This is for those of you who have a larger contact base or those who need to send out emails more frequently. Unlike the free plan, the starter plan lets you send out more emails. This is extremely beneficial if you're running more frequent marketing campaigns or if your customer engagement rate is high. One of the standout features of the starter plan is that you can remove the Brevo logo from your emails. While this might seem like a small thing, it makes a big difference in how your emails are perceived. Without the Brevo logo, your emails will look more professional and personalized. It's a small investment in building your brand identity. And remember, when choosing a plan, take into account not just your current needs, but also your future plans. A scalable plan today could save you a lot of hassle in the future as your business grows. After you've selected the plan that suits you best, you'll be all set to start using Brevo's features. The key is to take one step at a time, get comfortable with the platform, and explore everything it has to offer. It's a powerful tool that when used correctly can make your email marketing efforts much more efficient and effective. Once you've successfully registered, you'll land on the dashboard. And after you have signed up and selected the right plan, let's dive right into the navigation of Brevo. The dashboard is essentially your command center for all your email marketing activities, so let's get comfortable with it. Once you're logged into Brevo, you'll be welcomed by your dashboard. It's clean, intuitive, and designed with user friendliness in mind. Exploring the dashboard, on the left side of the dashboard, you will see a vertical navigation bar with various applications. These apps are your primary tools for managing your email campaigns. You'll find things like campaigns, contacts, and automation, among others. Clicking on each one of these will take you to the specific area where you can manage that aspect of your email marketing. For instance, if you want to start running a SMS campaign, you'd go into Campaigns, locate SMS over here. Once you locate it, you will click on Create a SMS campaign to begin creating your SMS campaign. Now, let's take another step forward in mastering Brevo by setting up a sender. 
This is super important because this is the from address that your recipients will see when they receive your emails. First, let me explain why this matters. Every email sent out using Brevo will have a sender attached to it. By default, this is the email address you've signed up with. However, we recommend setting up a custom sender with a custom domain. It will give your emails a more professional appearance and can help with your brand recognition. Now, let's walk through this process together. Start off by going to the senders and IP section in your Brevo dashboard. It's located on the top right and it says senders and IP. It's from here that we're going to set up who your emails are going to be from. Once you're there, you'll see the email that you've used to sign up for Brevo. This is going to be your default sender. It's here that we're going to set up who your emails are from. Once you're there, you'll see the email that you use to sign up for Brevo. This is your default sender. To add a custom sender, look for add a sender button and click it. Now you're going to fill out a short form. You'll enter the name and the custom email you want to use. Let's say your name is John Doe and you have a domain for your business, doebusiness.com. You will enter John Doe in the name field and john at doebusiness.com in the email field. After you've filled in the details, click on the save button. The last step in this process is to verify your email. Brevo will send you an email with a verification link. Once you've verified your email, you're good to go. Your custom sender is set up. Remember, having a custom sender is a simple yet effective way to give your email campaigns a much more professional touch. It aligns with your branding and can increase recognition among your subscribers. So don't miss out on this. All right, we've set up our sender. Now let's talk about getting your contacts in Brevo. If you already have an email list elsewhere, this step will be crucial for you. If not, you can still follow along. It's always good to know when you build up your email list. Go onto your Brevo dashboard and click on contacts over here. Here, you will see the option of import contacts. Click on that. Now, Brevo gives you two options to import contacts. You can either upload a file like a Excel file, or you can manually copy and paste. If you've got a file ready, drag and drop it right into the dashboard. You'll get a preview of your file. So just double check all the details that are correct. Now, let's say you have an Excel files with names written on it. After you drag and drop this files, you will need to map the data in the file to the right attribute. For example, let's assume the first column of your Excel file has first names. So you will select first name in Brevo so that it knows that that column represents the first name. Now do the same for the emails. You might have to add other data entries like date, tags, IP addresses. You can choose to map these or not, depending on the information that you want to collect. Next, you need to select the list that your contact should be imported to. By default, Brevo gives you one list. You can choose to create a new list as per your needs. For example, if you're importing subscribers from a YouTube tutorial, you can name your list YouTube subscribers, and you also get to choose which folder your list will be stored in. Once you're satisfied, you can click on confirm your list. You'll then finalize your import. There are options to update attributes of existing contacts, blacklist certain contacts, and more. Take note of these, choose what suits your needs, and then click on confirm your import. One final reminder is that you need to confirm that all of your contacts have given explicit permission to be on your newsletter list. This is part of the opt-in agreement. That's important to comply with. So far, we have set up our sender and imported our contacts. Now let's get into the heart of it. Let's create an opt-in form so people can subscribe to your newsletter right from your website. Now to create your opt-in form, go onto your Brevo dashboard and click on contacts and then click on forms. From here, click on create a new subscription form. From here, you will set your form name. For this tutorial, let's go with YouTube tutorial. Now, if you're operating out of Europe, you'll want to check this box right here. It's required by European law. Then click on next. Now comes the fun part. We get to design our subscription form. So on your right, you'll see a live preview of your form. 
you can switch between the desktop and the mobile views. To add elements to your form, all you have to do is drag them from the left side onto your form. It's pretty easy. One incredibly useful field is the attribute field. So let's drag it over here. Here, you can ask for different kinds of information, like the subscriber's name, phone number, or even their birthday. Want to ask for something specific? Just click on create a new attribute on the bottom over here. For example, if we want to ask for birthdays so we can offer a special birthday discount, we'd select the attribute type as date. Once you're done customizing your form, you will click on next. At this point, Brevo recommends using reCAPTCHA to prevent spam bots from adding fake data to your list. This could be useful, but for this tutorial, we will skip it. Next, select the list where the contact should be added. For us, that's the YouTube tutorial. Next, you will click on next. Now, you can customize the messages that your potential contacts will see. This is optional but has a nice touch if you want to add a personal flavor to your interactions. Once you're satisfied with the messages, click on next. And there you have it, your opt-in form is ready. You can now use the generated link to direct people to your form. If you're more tech savvy and have a HTML website, you can also integrate this form into your site by copying the HTML code provided. That's it for creating an opt-in form on Brevo. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into creating your first email campaign. Moving on in our tutorial, the next thing we will be focusing on is the process of setting up automations in Brevo. Automations are vital in fostering and managing your interactions with your customers. They help automate numerous processes like sending out emails, saving you a considerable amount of time and manual effort. So let's delve into it. The first step is to head on over to the automation section in your Brevo dashboard. You'll find this on the left-hand menu once you click on it. You'll be led to the automations page. Here, you need to hit the create an automation button to begin setting up your own automation sequence. You'll be provided with several options. However, for the purpose of the demonstration, let's pick custom automation. This gives you the most control over how you want your automation process to flow. Next, you'll need to assign your automation a name. It's best to choose something descriptive so you can easily identify it later. In this case, I'll name it YouTube Tutorial to align with the context of our demo. Following that, you'll notice an option asking if you want to allow your contacts to enter your automation more than once. This is typically not necessary, as most automation sequences are linear and only need to be triggered once per customer. Therefore, for this demonstration, I'll leave this option unchecked. Once done, hit Create Automation. We now enter the phase of defining the entry point for our automation. An entry point is essentially the event that triggers the automation. Since we previously had set up a subscription form titled YouTube Tutorial, I'll use contact submits a form as the entry point. So you just have to locate this form from the drop down menu and then click on OK. Now we're going to create a new email template. Next, it's time to add some actions to our automation. Click on the plus icon to add actions. We'll start with send an email action. This is where we'll craft the email our subscribers receive after submitting a form. We're going to create a new email template. Label the template appropriately. For consistency, I'll also call this YouTube tutorial. Don't forget to set up a captivating subject line and preview text that gives your audience an exciting peek into what the email contains. Now for the exciting part, designing our email template. Brevo does offer a host of pre-existing templates. However, for a personal touch, I'll guide you through creating an email template from scratch. Brevo features a simple drag and drop builder, allowing you to effortlessly add and arrange elements in your email. Now, let's begin by dragging a title from the top left onto our template. Follow this up by adding an image and social links, effortlessly engaging your audience and providing them with multiple points of contact with your brand. Remember, you can preview your email design across multiple devices. This ensures that your email looks great, whether it's viewed on a desktop, tablet, or smartphone. Once we have our initial email ready, we suppose we want to send a follow-up email two days after this one is done. So first off, you will just save and quit. And now you can head on over back to your Brevo automation and choose the template that you have created. 
Now, let's suppose we want to send out a follow-up email two days after the first one. To set this up, you will create a delay condition to your automation. Now, set your delay condition. For us, we will set this up to two days. Once the delay period ends, the next action, which will be send an email, will be triggered. So, you could utilize the second email to share additional information or market one of your products or services. And there you have it, a detailed guide to setting up a simple yet effective automation sequence on Brevo. The power of automation lies in its ability to handle recurring tasks, freeing you up, focus on what really matters, growing and nurturing your business. And that's how you can use Brevo as a complete beginner. I've included my personal link to Brevo in the description box down below, which allows you to sign up for a free account and later on choose a paid plan in case you need it. This is my personal link, so you always get the best deal. Leave a like on this video if this helped you out.